from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. That is good weed. That is good weed. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio. Most of you know my opinion of the Olive Garden. I don't need to repeat it. You know my opinion. That is why I am shocked at this story. We we see this version of it from the Orlando Sentinel about Playboy.com. It says here, five Olive Garden servers, Olive Garden, and a hostess are featured in a new online pictorial from Playboy.com called The Girls of Olive Garden. Are they Italian? <laughs> Have you ever seen an Italian at the Olive Garden, Gary? Come on. I've actually never been to one. Come on. This is the least Italian Italian restaurant you've ever seen. The girls of Olive Garden. (laughs) Can I fondle your garlic rolls? (laughs) Your garlic twists, what do they call those? It's been 20 years since I've been inside an Olive Garden. And the last time I went, it was a gay man in the radio business who went and, and said, come on, we have to go to the Olive Garden. It's so great. And it was that time that I realized that, uh, and as you know, I'm totally cool being, people being gay and lesbian. Not a problem for me. Not at all. One thing I've noticed, this this will prove to you that I know lots of gay men. Gay men may know how to dress and how to decorate their own house and your house. And many of them don't even know how to do that. But one thing most gay men definitely don't know about is food. Because most of the gay men I know won't admit to eating anything. <laughs> so I know gay men who swear by Denny's, Olive Garden... <laughs> Red Lobster. Have you ever been to the Olive Garden? It's really good. Why would you trust a man who weighs 115 pounds? (laughs) Where to eat? A man who doesn't ever want to be seen eating in public. Olive Garden. Says here the feature, this is the girls of Olive Garden on Playboy.com, which launched on Friday was the brainchild of Kendra Wilkinson, girlfriend of Playboy founder Hugh Hefter and star of the reality show The Girls Next Door. We're going to see Kendra in a few weeks. Says here, Wilkinson is a big fan of Olive Garden. (laughs) Guarantee you that she has a gay male friend who took her there, and that's why she started going there. Guarantee you. She's a big fan of Olive Garden, which is owned by Orlando-based Darden Restaurants. Is that owned by Christopher Darden? <laughs> and all of it raves about the Italian-themed chain on her TV show. Is that product placement, or does she really like it? That's another question. <laughs> the girls of Olive Garden. We're going to be doing the girls of Sit and Sleep on our website, by the way. Just because I think the girls there are so hot. (laughs) And they are free. (laughs) 
It says here Olive Garden spokeswoman Mara Frazier said the chain did not cooperate with Playboy.com, nor did it choose to participate in the photo feature. Don't want to offend the gay men who love Olive Garden. She said employees were not disciplined for partaking in the photo shoot. She said what people chose to do outside of work is an individual decision, and we all have the freedom to participate in any legal activity in our private lives. That's true. Playboy.com said on its website that, quote, hundreds of applicants participated in its search for the, quote, hottest girls at Olive Garden. Points out here that in the past, Playboy has run similar pictorials of workers from big chains such as Walmart and McDonald's. Holy cow. Well, the girls of Olive Garden now on Playboy.com. Kendra's a big fan of Olive Garden. Anyway, um, you know, this uh, whole pictorial thing lends itself to all kinds of possibilities. I think also uh, Playboy did uh, baristas at Starbucks one time, didn't they? I think they did that. They had a bunch of them. But, you know, there's so many possibilities. We're going to be seeing Hugh Hefter in a few weeks because we have our summer splash coming up at the Playboy Mansion, and you'll be hearing it here. Live, half will be here. And so uh, whether you work at a particular company and you'd like to get to see it get some free publicity, or whether you uh, just like going to a particular business because you like looking at hot chicks, we're talking chains now. I'm not talking about some local restaurant or some local store. We're talking big national chains. I got to tell you, I was uh, recently, because I'm furnishing a house right now, I, I, I've i spent some time at Bed Bath & Beyond. No hot chicks there. No hot chicks at Bed Bath & Beyond. Girls of Pollo Loco? The girls of El Pollo Loco, uh, if they use a depilatory. A what? <laughs> a depilatory. Look it up, Gary. <laughs> little wax or something. <laughs> yeah, Jay, take out the old Mach 3 and let's go. The little flicker. <laughs> uh, this is before art's time, but um, we once uh, actually used to send people out to Polio Loco uh, to report on um, how hairy the women's arms were because the women had more hair on their arms than I have. And so we used to send people out to the various branches of El Pollo Loco just to see if this was consistent everywhere. Turned out it was. Our research found that it didn't matter what branch or what part of town. <laughs> yes. So uh, El Pollo Loco, yeah, with a little... Uh, a little uh, bikini wax or something, maybe. But, um, no, but seriously, if there's a big national chain that would lend itself to a pictorial in Playboy, I want you to tell us what chain that would be. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Why would he trust you? Because I give him what he wants, Tom. I'm good at what I do. If you understand what I mean, I don't want to say it over the radio. Because... There's no, there's no chrome on your trailer hitch at home. Is that what you're telling us? Um, I think so. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Playboy.com has a new pictorial, The Girls of Olive Garden. What would be a good national chain to do a pictorial? Eddie, on uh, the Tom Liga Show, hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Eddie. Um, I want to say The Girls of Costco. The Girls of Costco. For sure. Really? Now, uh, usually I go to Costco... And there is a grandmotherly type, about 65 years old, 
uh, frequently Mexican American who was there serving like uh, you know corn dogs <laughs> or or uh, tortilla chips. I have not seen hot young chicks working at Costco. Have you? Yeah, it's it's always the cashiers. It's never the the demo girls. It's always the cashiers who are who are the hottest. Really? Really? Which uh, which Costco? I I need to know. I've pretty much been to every Costco and always seen hot cashiers. Really? Yeah, I work in industry too, so I go to the uh, Costco and industry quite often. Wow, I'm gonna yeah. have to check that out because um, I go to some other Costcos, haven't seen it. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. Uh, so the Costcos that I've been to, all the cashiers are, are freaking smoking. Wow. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna check that out, Eddie. All right, thanks, Tom. Can you blow me up? Yes, I can. The girls of Costco. Yes. You just put 12 of them on a pallet. The Victoria could be them being uh, delivered by forklift. If you know what I mean. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Anthony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Anthony. How you doing, brother? Um... In and out Burger, man. Well, certainly the name would make it an appropriate venue. Uh, do you see? No, no, no. Let me tell you, I worked there. I used to work there for about ten to twelve years, and they get younger and hotter with every crew, man. It's like people ask me why I keep working there. Part of the reason I tell you, man, it's like Matthew McConaughey says. I get older, they stay the same age, brother. <laughs> they get hotter and hotter. Really? I'm telling you, man. The girls of In and Out Burger. That's right. Southern California, Northern California, Arizona, Nevada, man. They, they're, they're young, they're hot. Good stuff. Well, I guess it's true they only have fresh meat in it and out, huh? Something like that. Can you blow me up, brother? I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Andy on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, what's happening, bud? Not much, Andy. Hey, I was thinking about hot dog on a stick, man. Now, you hot dog on a stick. On that, uh, on that, uh, that lemonade thing. Yeah, they always put those chicks in those skimpy outfits with the hat on, and then it looks like they're churning butter. They have to reach up and churn the lemonade. Oh, my God, it's awesome. Yeah, and, and by the way, I think you're right, because some of those chicks even look good in that gaudy outfit they have to wear. I know, it's so cheesy. They got that strapped uniform, but it's so short. I'm nothing but legs. It's awesome. I got a hot dog and a stick right here. That's right, buddy. <laughs> All right, Tom, you want to be up? Sure, I will. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Playboy dot com is that a pictorial called? <laughs> it's called the Girls of Olive Garden. What would be another good national chain to do a pictorial? Joe on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. This is Joe. I know. I just said that. <laughs> All right, I'm saying Benihana's, man. You, you know, know what? I haven't been to Benihana in a while, but you're right. Uh, those chicks, they, they make wear the kimonos, who frequently oh, yeah, are not man. even Asian. They walk around in the kimonos and, and, and take drink orders. They're fresh, man. They get here fresh, and they need to meet some people. They need to go out, you know, and they're always willing to go out and have fun. I cook at, uh, a tip on restaurant myself, so I always reap the benefits, and that's kind of why I started the job. So you pick so up was... chicks at Benihana? I'm a chef at a Tepon restaurant, not Benihana's. I work for a place called Shogun. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. But it's a good place to pick up chicks? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm making notes. Hey, can you, can you take me out of Bongto, Tom? I certainly can, Joe. Can we all just get a bong? The girls of Benihana. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Thomas on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. What's up, man? I'm, uh, I think the girls from BJ's restaurant, every single one of them, I think they're hot, man. The brewery. Oh, the pizzeria, like the uh, Chicago pizzeria. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I go to the one in Burbank, which is the one in Glendale, the one in Monrovia. All of them are all. I've never seen an ugly fat girl there. Really? Plus, I think the uh, plus, I think the title would be great: uh, the girls of BJ's. That that, that would work. One eight, yeah. 
Beat his pizzeria, you with the filthy mind there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. What are you thinking? Jesus. Uh, it's Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mark. I'm going to have to go with Safeway. The girls of Safeway? Now, wait a minute. What city do you live in? Uh, Monrovia. Is there, there's no Safeway in Monrovia. Well, pavilions and Vons is owned by Safeway. Oh, the girls, the girls of Vons or Safeway or whichever you have in your local area. Exactly. Uh, are you telling me the girls of pavilions are, are particularly hot? I think the girls from pavilions are hotter than Vons, and Vons is even hotter than Safeway, but they're all pretty good, especially what about, pharmacy. What about the girls of Food for Less? Like you said, the ones giving out the corn dogs. <laughs> Not good. Like a Walmart greeter. <laughs> Not a good thing. No. Maybe some magazine will do a pictorial of Walmart greeters. Oh, no. <laughs> they all have summer teeth. Some what? are there and some aren't. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for that. The girls of Pavilions, Safeway, Vons, whatever's in your area. But not the girls of Food for Less. Not them. No. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jesse on the Tom Langus Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? I got one for you. Uh, Macy's, the girl of Macy's. The girls of Macy's. Yeah, every time my chick drags me over there, I always check out the chicks right there in the makeup on there. They're smoking hot. When I was a kid, it was all about the girls of Bloomingdale's. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, um, the ones that out here in Rancho, the, the, that Victoria Gardens, they got, they got some pretty good ones, some pretty hot ones in there. Really? Oh, yeah. Very nice. Jesse, uh, thank you for that. Let's go to Derek on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Derek. Hey, you got to go with TGI Fridays, Tom. TGI Fridays. Now, that's another place I haven't been in a while. Great place to pick up your local receptionist, by the way, with the huge cans. Yes, it that's, is. When she's paying for drinks, that's where she goes. <laughs> See, I've got this. I have, I have saved too. you time. I've got this all scoped out. <laughs> you know, let me explain to you the target demographic of TGI Fridays. It's the 21-year-old receptionist who can't afford an actual meal for dinner, so she eats potato skins and has a Long Island iced tea at TGI Fridays. <laughs> Isn't it always that way? I'm telling you, if you want to pick up hot young chicks with big cans, oh yeah, TGI yeah, Fridays. Yeah, can you take me out Kobe style? Well, yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. Oh. Oh. That's our telephone number. Uh, Playboy.com has a pictorial uh, that is called The Girls of Olive Garden, which is a national restaurant chain. Are there other national chains of any kind of store that would make for a good Playboy pictorial? Let's say hello here to Renee on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Pretty good. Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue. I think you're right about that. Oh, man, forget about it. Yeah. Makeup aisle, menswear, I don't care. They're all hot. Yes. And Bloomingdale's, yes, does have hot chicks. I live by the one to Sherman Oaks. Very hot. Yes. Yeah, I, I Actually, Saks Fifth Avenue is the store I walked into one time. Where uh, a man came up to me uh, with a, like a tray full of uh, fragrances, uh -huh. and he's coming at me with a spritzer. He says, "Would you like to try obsession for man?" <laughs> and I said, "I think you already have, if you know what I mean." <laughs> well, you come out with a tray of women, so who cares? <laughs> so the girls of Saks Fifth Avenue. Yes, right. All right, uh, very good. Thank you for that. It's Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Paul. Yo, Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Awesome. I'm going to throw this one out there. How about the girls of Toys R Us? The girls of Toys R Us. Now, obviously, being that I do not have children or know many children, Toys R Us is a place I don't go often. So tell me about it. Hey, there's just, you know, there's a lot of MILFs in there, but also the, the people that work there, the girls that work there are pretty hot at times. The girls that work at Toys R Us are hot, are they? 
you know, oh yeah, stocking the shelves, you know, up on the ladders, putting really? stuff up. I've noticed a few times, yeah. Yeah. I do believe that some of the hottest chicks work in the, you know, the last place you expect hot chicks to be. Yeah, because not all hot chicks end up as models or actresses or singers or whatever. Right. Many hot chicks just live in your neighborhood and have they need a job until they meet Mr. Right. And then I come along. Well, you're Mr. Right now or Mr. Wrong, but uh, Mr. <laughs> right will come along. Now, hopefully you'll be Mr. Wrong. You, the last thing you want to be is Mr. Right for these girls. I agree. I agree. Mr. Tom. Right has to pay her rent. I want to be Mr. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Paul. Thank you for that. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Marty on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How's it going, bud? So I'm going okay, Marty. Hey, Applebee's, man. They're banging there. The girls of Applebee's. Bet. Even the dudes are hot. That place is so hot. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I've never looked at that. I know. I know. My wife's uh, into that. Are there any chains that would not lend themselves to this? I don't believe so. You know, you go in there and it's like the uh, entry level job for these high school chicks, mm -hmm. and uh, they got all the attention in high school. Now they're competing, so you know who can have the most cleavage and who can uh, try to be the cutest crap at the table. So, uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good, and they got the whole bar little thing going. You know, and the little bar skank trying to work her magic on you when you're ordering up drinks and stuff. So, uh, yeah, they're doing good. Can you take me out the bong hit? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Playboy dot com has a pictorial called the Girls of Olive Garden. What would be another good national chain of any kind? Doesn't have to be a restaurant. A good national chain where you could do a pictorial. Let's say hello here to Dustin on the Tom Likas show. Um, what's up, brother? Not much, Dustin. I got the spot, man. Okay. Lowe's, the hardware store. Lowe's. The little blue aprons that those chicks. You you think those are hot? Do you? I guess we'll never know. Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Uh, well, the last guy pretty much said exactly what I was going to say. Because uh, all the girls at Lowe's and uh, and uh, Best Buy, or not Best Buy, but Lowe's and... Um, Home Depot? Everyone. Yeah, Home Depot. They're always banging. Well, that them. outfit at Home Depot looks like you work for Caltrans. <laughs> yeah. Does but, anybody uh, look good I'll in be, orange? I'll, I don't think it covers up the back area, and which is where I'm looking. So yeah, but they, what are they dressing uh, slutty there at Home Depot? Is that what you're saying? No, they just they're just really good looking women. Well, you're not seeing any tramp stamps in the back of that apron, are you? No, no, not really. I'm just checking. Not that I'm a tramp stamp fan, because I'm not. Henry, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Okay. Hey, I just wanted to say, uh, I actually hooked up with this one girl one time, and uh, I played a local. You did? And, yeah, man, the girls, uh, I swear, man, every time. They're so stupid, but they're so hot. They're stupid. You went in and asked for an order of thighs and breasts, and just she came from behind the counter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did, actually. That's the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> did you have the with or without hair, Henry? Of course, of course. Which? Uh, this is the one actually in the valley right here. No, no, no. I said, which? Did you have the with or without hair? We'll never know. I don't think he understood the question. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Miguel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? Not much, Miguel. I would like to say the girls of Valley Total Fitness. Is that so? Oh, man, dude. They have to wear, like, those tight spandex on the bottom and, like, the tight red shirt. Oh, man, they're banging. You like them? Oh, yes, I do. Really? Yes. Well, is that, what is it, $79 a year or whatever it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, boy. Well, can you take me out, Kobe style? I certainly can, Miguel. Oh, Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 
Tom Likas. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas. 1-800-5800-866. What college are you attending? Uh, I wasn't attending college. I right. I know. I know. You were going to Bonham Young University. No, but... Right. Uh, that was the college I, I you were going to, right? No. I was going to go to college, but then I switched my career. You switched to, to Bonham Young. Yes, you did a transfer. Is that in Utah, Bonham Young? Yeah. Right. BYU. The Tom Likas Show. Likas Show. From Hollywood, at 1-800-5800-TALK. Well, that is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Playboy.com has a pictorial called The Girls of Olive Garden. What would be another good national train of some kind to do a pictorial? Darren on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Well, I think Supercuts has some hot women here. Is that so? Oh, yeah. I used to uh, go and scope out before I'd get my hair cut, find out what the name of the best-looking one there was, go home and call ahead to get a schedule with her. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> and then the full hair wash and everything. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. There's some hot ones in there. And they can do Super cuts. and stuff like that. Yeah, these are all the girls, by the way, who went to beautician school because they were too lazy or big weed smokers or whatever. They want to go to college. <laughs> exactly. So they went to beauty school because they couldn't think of what they want to do for a living. And really what they want to do for a living is get a job where maybe they'll meet Mr. Wright while they're cutting his hair. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Of course, I'm not Mr. Right, but that, that, but they don't know that until really after you. Them. They don't know that till after you've nailed them. Exactly. <laughs> well, can you take me out uh, polka style? Polka style. You know what? We can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Ryan on the Tom Liga Show. Hello, father, son. How you doing today? Great. Awesome. Here's a good one for you. Chicks Sporting Goods. I've never even seen that. I've heard of Dick's Sporting Goods. Chicks is in California, in Southern California. And that's really funny because you got Dick's and Chicks. Two different sporting goods stores. Exactly. There's one over here that just opened. That go good together. What? There's one that just opened here in Upland. Amazing, beautiful woman. Chick sporting goods. All the time. Summer, winter, spring, fall, bring it. They got them. And it's all 18 and over. I love it. Yep. Very, very nice. Well, thank you for that, Ryan. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Rob on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Pretty good. Long time, first time. Thank I you. I don't know how hot they are, but I think Chicks Filet. Chick filet Are they even in business? I haven't seen them in a while. They're all over L.A. The, the one I knew went out of business, so I didn't know if they were still around. Yeah, there's about four or five out there. Really? And it, you yeah. say it has hot chicks? Yeah, I don't know. Are they, are they filleted? <laughs> They're filleted, though. Would you ask if they'd like to get filleted? I wish they would. <laughs> Bong rip, please. Here you go, Rob. Bong rip. on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Uh, I got the uh, obvious one. Which one? The girls of Victoria's Secret. The girls of Victoria's Secret, but not the models of Victoria's Secret. Exactly. The yeah, women the who work at the, the store. store. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. What's that like? How are those chicks? You take your women out there, you know. You don't think I go to Victoria? Wait, 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 wait. Nobody out there has ever seen me at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> ever. You've never gone lingerie shopping for your woman. I'm are you kidding me? I, you think I buy stuff for chicks? you you got to be kidding. 
Come on, it's, it's, you know, it's like, uh, you know, steak and robber day. You got to get a little uh, eye candy there before you attack. No, 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 no. I want the, they just get in, be naked, get it done. No big show, nothing that's going to delay my instant gratification, then get the hell out of my house. Okay, well, enough of that. What about the girls who work there, though? Well, I wouldn't know what they look like. I, it's a store I never go to. Okay, well, let me describe it to you, because my niece used to work there, and she was smoking hot. She introduced me to all of her uh, girlfriends, co-workers. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Yeah, make your tongue swell. Wow. And that's your niece who introduced you? Yep. What is her number? Uh, Actually, she passed away. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, is there any other way to... <laughs> no, never... Yeah, I know. <laughs> way to bring it down. Well, here's the thing. I, you know, I've been with chicks in worse shape than that. You yeah. get the job done. All right, well, thank you. Uh, can you take me out with an exploding bomb hit? <laughs> sure I can. It didn't matter how low I went with that. He still just wanted to get blown up. I could have, how much more tasteless could I make it? And it didn't matter. <laughs> one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Gil on the Tom Likes Show. Hello. Hola, Tomas. Hola, Gil. What's up, baby? How are you? Not much. How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, I, it has to be the girls of Chuck E. Cheese. The girls of <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. Now oh, you're not you talking about that, the women huh? who come in with their little kids. You're talking about the women who work there. No, the girls that work there all just out of high school or even going through high school, hot little girls. Oh, yeah. But you know that big old six-foot-six rat is tapping those girls. (laughs) (laughs) Red (laughs) bastard. Oh, Chucky Doobie. You know what's so funny? Because my boys, uh, I got a 13-year-old and a 14-year-old. Yeah. I'm always talking and preaching about you. I tell them, look at guys, see that big rat? Don't go to don't go to college. You're gonna wear that suit. <laughs> <laughs> and they just look at me like, oh. Then I tell them, see the little girls having their second and first birthday. Your first, your future wife. <laughs> <I'm> like, what? <laughs> There's your future trophy wife right there, boys. There you go. Hey, can you take me out, uh, Lacey Peterson? With the- by the way, your boys are how old? Thirteen and fourteen. Their their trophy wives are watching the Teletubbies right now. Oh, they are. It's just wrong. That's right. In fact, I think wife number five is watching Teletubbies right now. <laughs> Tell me about it. You know, and one day she'll turn 18, and then she'll be all mine. There you go. Bleh. My boys. I got I to gotta preach a like it to my boys. I got to make them little pussies. They're Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> Sounds good right. to me. Well, Gil, thank you very much. I appreciate the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Worked hey. in the restaurant business for years. Yeah. And I would say Beach Bunnies of the Chart House. Beach Bunnies of the Chart House, is that so? Oh yeah. They they have a reputation for only hiring the hottest little beach girls and is the, unreal. You know, uh, you now that you're mentioning this, I I think that was true. The last time I ate at the chart house was in Maui. Mm-hmm. I don't even think it's the chart house anymore, but I ate at the chart house uh which was in the area of like Kanapali in Maui. Oh yeah. And um now that you're mentioning it, I think there were hot chicks there, but I didn't know that was uh, the whole chain. I thought it was just Maui. Oh no, they the it's I don't know if it does any anymore, but the managers that was one of the prerequisites to getting hired there. You had to be a hot, hot oh, little blonde beach girl. <laughs> love that. I worked in San Diego for years and all the ones down there, they're just unreal. And I mean those little girls, that's 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 how they get hired. Ooh. <laughs> so uh love that. Hey, could you take me out porno style? I certainly can, Dave. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Playboy dot com has done a pictorial called "The Girls of the Olive Garden," and we're wondering what other national chains would make for uh, for a good pictorial for Playboy. We're going to see you after in a few weeks. We'll tell them 
some of your responses here. Let's say hello to Brad on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Brad. Hey, I work at Pet Boys in Hollywood, and I got to tell you, whatever Pet Boys I go to, Pet Boys hires the hottest girls there can possibly be. I mean, a, guy, a place that's ran by just guys, what can you expect for the cashiers to be? Just well, hot, hot young girls, barely out of high school. Really? Yeah, and the tight little pants that they wear, whew, man. But it's, I don't know, man. It's, then the girls that come in, the, but the girls at Pet Boys are definitely the ones that Playboy would want in their spread. Hot tens, most of them. Really? Yeah, then they hire a fat chick every now and then just so it doesn't look like they're only hiring hot chicks. <laughs> <laughs> so you say this is like a game plan? Yeah, basically, you don't want that anybody thinking that they're only hiring hot chicks on purpose. So every now, now and then they'll hire a fat chick for a little while and then they'll, or an ugly chick, and then they'll fire them after, you know, a couple months. Wow. Yeah. But Pet Boys definitely hires some of the hottest women there are. 18 little 19 year old girls. I love that. And what do they do? Because they can't know about spark plugs or tires or anything like that. You know, you'd be surprised. Some of them do, but most of them, they just stand there at the cash at the cash register. Whenever I'm bored, I just go over there and talk to them and tell them new girls come in all the time. Those girls that come in there are wild. They really know how to party. Really? Yeah. The girls of the of, of Pep Boys. Of Pep Boys. So 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 Manny, Moe, and Jack are like uh, into the hot chicks. Oh, and either that or the pimps of the automotive world. Yeah. Yes, Manny Moe and Jack are the pimps of the automotive world. Well, I, I was the in there world. the other day. I was in at uh, Pep Boys the other day, and I didn't see those guys, so I asked. Yeah. I was asking our Manny Moe and Jack off today. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they were. Yeah. I uh, thought so I'd let you know, man. I mean, seriously, that's the one you want to pitch to? I couldn't uh, see them anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, Brad. Up. Well, uh, Brad is there stammering, and everybody else sitting here going, 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. You know, you got to go in on a day when they're there. It's the way it is. Casey on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, I have to go with the girls at Starbucks. Uh, now, I, I think Playboy has done that already. Really? Believe it or not, I do think so. They're always, they're usually looking for a summer job in high school or just got out of high school and they're always smoking hot. Uh, yeah, except you have to pay five bucks for a cup of coffee and I'm not going to pay to see chicks. I think it's worth it, however. Really? Yeah. I'll tell I you what, if you can go to Pep Boys and just sh uh, shop for spark plugs and never buy anything, that'd probably be... Uh, <laughs> More effective. I could even just go in there with my laptop and just talk to them. Is that what you do? Yeah. Wow. Very good. Casey, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Josh on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Uh, how you doing, man? Hey, but I got the perfect place. Nordstrom's, Tom. Nordstrom's? Yeah, we're going in right now to check them out right now. We're at the Cerritos <laughs> Mall. <laughs> Which one are you at? The one at Cerritos Mall. Really? Yes, Tom. They're, they're smoking hot. They're all tall, and they come in a any flavor, Tom. Is that so? Yep. Oh, uh, you yeah, know, I like that. I like them in any flavor. Well, yeah, Tom, me too. Yeah, and then we're going to have to check out the, the girls at uh, Hot Dog on a Stick, too, see what that guy was talking about, too, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Well, Josh, thank you for that. I appreciate the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. By the way, check out our MySpace. We've got a photo of your prototypical L.A. Times reader. If you go to myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S, go to our MySpace to see the typical L.A. Times reader. The Tom Likas Show.